Good morning, dear colleagues, journalists, participants of the briefing. We are starting our day in the UCMC. Now the topic is uh, suspending the activity of the Medjilis of the Crimean Tatar people by the so-called uh, uh, Prosecutor General of Crimea. Our participants are uh, Yusuf Kurkchi, um, head of the Department of Assistance to the Commission of the President of Ukraine for the Affairs of Crimean Tatars, Emine Djepar, advisor to the Minister of Information Policy of Ukraine, Emil Latasheva, co-founder of the Civil Initiative Crimea Source, and Yulia Tishenko, assistant to Rifat Chubarov. Good afternoon. The situation in Crimea is not new, is not a surprise for us. Uh, having delayed uh, the latest uh, meeting of the court on the 15th of April, the court had grounds for that. They announced that the prosecutor, uh, prosecution, uh, uh, prosecutor's office of Crimea has some grounds for that, but the prosecutor general of Crimea, acting within the framework of the Russian Federation law, announces the activity of the Majlis of Crimean Tatar people as extremists, and they suspend its activity in accordance to the Russian Federation law. Um, the General Prosecutor acts uh, according to the powers. Uh, there are two options, uh, two scenarios, possible scenarios. Either tomorrow the decision will be made or will not be made, but after the uh, f uh, uh, consideration is over, the court uh, has to uh, Pass the ruling. The first option is that the court does not now does not recognize the activity of Majlis uh, uh, as uh, extremist, uh, but that is hardly possible. So most probably, this is just the presentation of professional qualities uh, of the prosecution office that such people and such professionals uh, in uh, converted commas uh, can. Uh, um, execute uh, any uh, order of the authorities and can close any organization that protects the rights of uh, the people. I'm talking about Majlis of Crimean Tatar people. Also, we can add that uh, rhetoric uh, of the uh, personalities who call themselves the authorities of Crimea has never changed within the last 20 years or there election uh, campaign uh, uh, speeches were about Majlis being the uh, extremist organization, non-legal organization. They have no right to act on the territory of Crimea. All their activities are illegal. And so having received the power the way they received it, they prove to the whole population of Crimea uh, their uh, that they are consistent. First, they were ruining the buildings. Now they are closing Majlis, but all that, that is happening in the moment of a full impoverishment of the population. There are no results in the sphere of economy, uh, no successes, and so now they are playing the card of fighting with extremism, fighting with Majlis, and that has to justify their inactivity in all of the spheres. These are expected steps. We knew that this would happen, but this does not mean that the activity of this body will be suspended. On the one hand, on the other hand, that uh, enhances the risk that any Crimean Tatar who participates in elections of Kurultai, who participated in elections of the members of Majlis, uh, indirectly 
uh, according to them, supported the actions of this extremist organization. Any businessman who was uh, rendering assistance in implementing different projects initiated by Majlis falls under the uh, article financing extremist activities, and that increases the risk uh, to be uh, made uh, um, responsible. And this is the signal to the whole society that non-loyal citizens, non-loyal um, uh, citizens of Crimea have uh, uh, are now threatened by uh, the possibility to be um, made responsible for their position. Good uh, uh, afternoon to everyone. Thank you for your interest to this uh, very important uh, event that took place uh, a couple of days ago that is passing the decision of the self-proclaimed -pro uh, prosecutor of Crimea on uh, the suspending the activity of Majlis. Officially, this ruling hasn't been announced physically as of at least yesterday night. It is not in the public space. It's not on the official site of Crimean prosecution office. And this is quite an interesting fact. We can see the accusations uh, from the notification that was uh, uh, disseminated by TASS, which is a governmental Russian agency. Even in accordance with this uh, signal, we can uh, say that this is not just the initiative of self-proclaimed uh, Crimean prosecutor, but uh, uh, the way it has been done, uh, we understand that it was sanctioned not just in Crimea, not only in Crimea. Uh, so uh, to s uh, what uh, to interpret what is in this uh, resolution, they refer to the law on counteraction to extremism. I have never thought that I would uh, ever have to examine Russian legislation, but uh, all Russian uh, uh, advocates were criticizing this uh, law because there are no definitions of what is uh, extremism. So anything can fall under this notion, uh, definition of extremism. It all depends on the interpretation of uh, the prosecution office, uh, if you see uh, uh, the reference to Article 8 or 9, the suspending of the activity, activity could take place before the ruling of the court. We, the court is still going on, and this uh, ruling can be considered to be a pressure on the court. And even if the court in Crimea uh, on the uh, uh, prohibition of Majlis lasts for several time. Still, uh, this threat of suspending the activity uh, and there are many people who are related to Majlis. This pe the people who elected Kurultai representatives of local Majlis uh, Local Majlis uh, are independent, they are not structural bodies of the central Majlis, but local Majlis, there are more than 370 of them. And as interpreted by self-proclaimed uh, Crimean authorities, uh, according to them, well, about 4,000 people um, uh, are under, and their families are under the threat. Uh, so uh, that means that uh, activity of the registration, which uh, of the organization, which is not registered, because Medlis is not registered, it's not the organization, even in Russian interpretation, that is the representative body of Crimean Tata people. And uh, suspend the uh, suspension uh, 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 is uh, um, about, uh, well, anything. Uh, it's uh, about uh, dissemination of even environmental literature. And uh, basically all this um, 
situation demonstrates that interpretation could be of any kind. And uh, these are political decisions uh, of not uh, Crimean leadership, so-called uh, self-proclaimed leadership, but Kremlin re leadership that uh, demonstrates that there are no uh, possibilities to find compromise, to move in the direction, uh, if not the occupation, but the dialogue. Uh, uh, this is the continuation of uh, this wave of repressions uh, against Crimean Tatars because these actions are um, uh, taking place uh, uh, at the background of cases uh, against Crimean Tatar businessmen and others. Uh, this is not something extraordinary. This is an important link uh, among other links of one chain. If we look at that more globally, this resolution on the activity of Majlis, uh, the arrest of the property, uh, and the property was arrested back in 2014, and the prohibition to organize mass uh, activities, uh, they did not allow Majlis to organize any mass activities starting from the 18th of uh, um, May 2014, and the prohibition to c provide comments to any events in mass media, Crimean mass media, media very much censored. So this does not change anything in the activity of uh, uh, Majlis. Uh, but this is the reaction to what's happening around. Recently, there was an was a, a resolution of G7 on the occupation of the Crimea. Also, this is the reaction to discussion in the uh, Security Council of Crimean Tata uh, issue and other signals. And we see that the total, that this total lack uh, of uh, uh, possibility to have compromise. So the continuation of this uh, dramatic situation, uh, th this dramatic situation will continue. Ukraine doesn't have a big menu how to react to that, but we need to react. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good morning, dear colleagues. Uh, uh, really, the document produced by Madame Paklonska, which totally limits uh, the majlis activities, uh, this is a uh, band to uh, join together uh, and uh, uh, even to uh, continue its work even prior to final uh, court verdict. Uh, this is uh, the uh, the continuation of the policy of current Crimean authorities uh, to uh, persecute uh, the Crimean Tatars. Uh, and uh, uh, today, any violation of this uh, 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 of this uh, um, decree. Uh, um, uh, could result in administrative punishment. But actually, uh, 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 all those measures uh, in line with legislation uh, 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 was issued by actual Ukrainian citizen who did not quit Ukrainian citizenship uh, mm, uh, and uh, some uh, example, the um, Russian prosecutor um, says to Crimean Tatar that they are not indigenous people. That's why they do not uh, enjoy all the rights uh, proclaimed by the United, uh, the UN Declaration for Indigenous People, and they cannot ha have their representative body. But uh, uh, 
the indigenous uh, and uh, they re refer that uh, uh, Crimean Tatars were not colonized by um, the Russian Federation then if to follow up this logic uh, all other minorities in Crimea Crimea were colonized but whom they were colonized by by whom by Russian Federation I think that uh, 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 this is a collision which should be started by other Russian uh, authorities. Mm. Uh, the only pretext to say that Crimean Tatars are not indigenous people is that uh, 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 they uh, are not registered as indigenous uh, people um, and uh, the major um, barrier for th this is that the maximum number of the indigenous people is limited by 50,000 people. Mm. Uh, that's why I believe that the major uh, guarantee for Majlis for protection of Crimean Tatars uh, uh, protection in Crimea is to um, uh, is to confirm that uh, at all levels uh, that uh, Crimean Tatars are in, in indigenous uh, people um, and uh, 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 we should pass resolutions, we should pass documents, we should make official statements uh, uh, confirming this. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, Russian Federation won't be able to um, refer to the fact that uh, uh, Crimean Tatars are not indigenous people. And uh, um, uh, uh, actually, uh, Poklonska limits uh, with its uh, with her ban. She uh, imposes ban upon Michelin's not as an institution, but on the. Mm, mm, identity of Crimean Tatars, self-identity of Crimean Tatars, because a lot of Crimean Tatars are part to this self-governance uh, um, uh, and uh, a part of this self-government uh, body. Actually, today they have already launched all that punitive uh, um, measures, including arrests, uh, searches, uh, uh, um, imprisonment, uh, um, opening of uh, investigations against Crimean Tatars. Um, for example, today even uh, children are subject to this uh, um, uh, ban uh, because uh, the attitude in schools to Crimean Tatar children is uh, uh, very much biased and prejudiced. Uh, Rifat Chubarov and uh, uh, Lee uh, and uh, um, uh, Mr. Jamilev, who do not stay in Crimea, but they maintain a, a Crimean Tatar discourse, uh, uh, staying in Kiev and from Kiev, and uh, um, Mm, now, no, Russian Federation tries to use uh, the situation to name the leaders of Crimean Tatars in exile in Kyiv as extremists and substitute them with local so-called uh, leaders. Uh, um, uh, good morning, dear friends. Uh, what much was uh, already mentioned, and I do not wish to um reiterate this but uh, i will uh, uh add try to add and uh, say that uh, this ban on the activities of majlis uh, uh, it contributes to the general direction of russian uh 
policy towards Crimea. Uh, uh, Russian authorities are uh, unable to um, s provide uh, for the um, uh, multiple uh, everyday needs of uh, Crimean residents, beginning with water supplies, with uh, provisions of medicines, uh, provisions of food, electricity, etc., and uh, to distract uh, local people from all these problems, they stir up the political issues. First of all, they try to focus attention of local people on the fight against Crimean Tatars, uh, on the persecution of Crimean Tatars, pointing out that there, there are people who do not support Russian uh, occupation, the, uh, those people who um, uh, still support Ukraine or um, uh, uh, support the Ukrainian identity. The second trend is uh, that uh, um, from the uh, very beginning, Russia uh, did not plan to uh, develop Crimea economically. It kept in mind only its goal to make a military base from Crimea. Mm -hmm. And currently, we observe this uh, trend um, uh, very clearly, and uh, military bases uh, 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 now are developed uh, uh, very close to the administrative border with Ukraine, and uh, uh, they held quite uh, um, often uh, uh, their military exercises, they demonstratively shoot in the Ukrainian direction, open fire in the Ukrainian direction, and uh, uh, f actually, this also fits to the general course of Russian policy in Crimea. From the very beginning, um, the Russian Federation uh, prohibited uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mustafa Jamilev, uh, uh, leader of Crimean Tatars, and uh, uh, Mr. Rifat Chubarov, leader of uh, uh, Crimean Tatar Majlis, to enter Crimea and uh, tried uh, to um, uh, pretended that it tried to organize negotiations. Later, it uh, started to make pressure on Majlis. And today, we observe uh, uh, the um, attempt to push out Crimean Tatars from Crimea. Uh, the second um, attempt is to make to marginalize them, socially marginalize them uh, in inside Crimea, to make uh, to turn them into Muslim extremists, uh, uh, to present them as uh, those uh, people with whom you should not communicate and. Uh, uh, to fright to frighten people mm. Mm. Uh, the official data proves that 21,000 of Crimean Tatars left Crimea uh, but actually the figure is not just twice bigger but when we uh, submitted a request to the border service uh, um, the administrative border uh, uh, asking about numbers uh, of uh, 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 of those who left Crimea and went back to Crimea, and the difference amounts to eighty uh, to sixty-eight thousand people. Uh, uh, so we try to uh, now to clarify what's going on and uh, to verify uh, uh, um, these figures. On the other hand, Russian authorities continue to substitute uh, the population which is uh, uh, coming. Um, mm -hmm. 
of course, there's uh, uh, um, co conflicts with the international law provisions because Russia has a temporary mandate in Crimea uh, and the substitution of population is a crime. Uh, uh, and uh, as my colleagues uh, mentioned, there are not uh, a big. Uh, there is not a big list of measures which we may uh, apply now. But uh, we are very limited in our possible responses to this situation. But I think that uh, uh, we should do what we can. Now, any questions uh, or comments? Uh, well, thank you for explaining the situation. We have just an opportunity, a time for one question. Channel 5, we understood everything from what you've uh, said, uh, but there is such a mechanism as Security Council of the United Nations, and uh, Mr. Chubarov uh, addressed uh, that body. They know about the situation. What do you believe could be the resolution of the UN Security Council? It would be logical to call uh, uh, the uh, meeting of the Security Council, but uh, again, the Russia is the member of the Security Council, and whatever declarations are drafted, uh, but it's clear that Russia will be blocking it. Another thing is that it would be logical, and it was done last time, to emphasize uh, to uh, emphasize the political context of what's happening by uh, uh, on behalf of occupational authorities against Crimean Tatar people in Crimea, and also uh, talking about the rights of Ukrainians in, Ukra in, in Crimea. Yesterday there was a statement of the MPs of Ukraine that the next uh, prohibition uh, could be to suspend the activity uh, activity of Greek Catholic Church, but the prohibition of the Majlis of Crimean Tatars, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, what uh, should be used to emphasize that such actions of Russia could be interpreted as genocide against Crimean Tatar people. The prohibition of self-governance, of self-identification. Uh, we also see open repressions against Crimean Tatars, and uh, many people are endangered uh, because of the, the ethnicity. This is unacceptable, and this is the signal for the international community. Uh, it is not enough to just monitor the situation. And this is uh, the uh, issue which should be discussed, not just at that platform. It would be logical if some format, Normandy plus format or whatever, if, if such format is created and starts its activity, then these issues should be the first ones on the agenda of any negotiations uh, uh, with Russia as to Crimea. I would like to add, we understand that at different international platforms, any form of accusation doesn't have any practical component. Even when they accuse, there was a resolution of the General uh, Assembly of the UN of 2015, uh, and it was uh, on annexation. It has no practical consequences, uh, taking into account that Russia has the right of veto in the Security Council. Any decision could be passed there. We, uh, the, the Ministry of Information Policy addressed the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, requesting to initiate negotiations and passing the resolution by the General Assembly, not just on uh, uh, Crimea, but on prohibition of Majlis, on Crimean Tatars, 
where the resolution could give the definition that, first of all, that's indigenous people, that Majlis is not organization, but is the representative body of Crimean Tatars, and that would paralyze such anti-Crimean Tatar activity at the level of judiciary, at least. Uh, so I believe that uh, and it is uh, very important to state that this is indigenous people an international organization, Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, United Nations, European Union, all the documents of these uh, organizations are of recommendational nature, and they will not uh, force Russia to act. Thank you, the speakers. Uh, uh, you can uh, ask uh, more questions of records. Thank you. Thank you.